orang Indonesia. Tapi Tuhan kirimkan saya di sini bulan di Pakistan, right? So saya sekarang bulan di Pakistan sebagai president, the college Adventist, right? Okay. Yes. From now, okay. Let's start some of the message. Okay. Let's see our PowerPoint first. Okay. Right. So today's topic is that you are a VIP. What's the meaning of the VIP? VIP meaning very important person. All right. We are all very important in God's sight. Sometimes COVID-19 pandemic brought us a lot of financial crisis. And also disease, sakitnya, sakit banyak, uh, kurang uang, kurang uangan di rumah, adalah banyak masalah. But we should not forget it. All we are very important person in God's sight. Okay? Right? Let's see. Okay, let's open your Bible. Okay, John 14. Verse 12. Okay. Anybody can read in Baza Indonesia? Baza Indonesia. Suara yang jantik. Bisa baca dulu kan? Yohanes 14 ayat 12. Aku berkata kepadamu, sesungguhnya barang siapa percaya kepadaku, ia akan melakukan juga pekerjaan-pekerjaan yang aku lakukan. Bahkan pekerjaan-pekerjaan yang lebih besar daripada itu. Sebab aku pergi kepada Bapa. Oke. Okay. Are you believe this word? Really? This is my first question. Many of them they thought, I believe Jesus, but only they believe Jesus dari apa ini kepala, tidak dari hati. Right. So this Bible said, if you believe me, you will work like I have done. Kalau Jesus mulai ini dengan banyak bujisa, if we are believe Jesus Christ, kita juga harus tahu bagaimana bisa mulai ini sama dengan Jesus. And also not only that, even the great work, great work, then what Jesus did. Let's think about it. What Jesus did 2,000 years ago? He membuat banyak bujisat, right? Kurangnya bati mereka bangkit. 5,000 orang mereka sudah dimakan dengan five loaves and two fishes. Jesus feeding them 5,000 people there, 5,000. Even also, banyak orang sakit, mereka disembuhkan. They healed. And also, those who possessed by Satan's spirit, they were also healed. How about you? If you believe Jesus Christ, this kind of thing should happen in your life again. It was my challenge. When I was young, like your age, I was confused. Jesus, I believe you. But such kind of miracle, mujisa, only you can do. But we just cannot do anything. That's why we need you. No, it's wrong. This Bible said, if 
you believe me as I did, you will do. I believe that. I believe. Not only that, even the greater work, greater work. If you believe this one, and also you have the great vision for this kind of world, how can fulfill in your life? <coughs> I believe God will use your life. Tua nakam pakai hidumu. Okay, I want to show one video. Okay, when I served first Indonesia, it was the first mission field. Saya mulai ini di sini dengan pendeta Alfian Sadonda yang sang mulai ini di Sulawesi Tengah. Yes. Waktu kita mulai ini di sini adalah banyak mujizat. Boleh lihat tempat ini? Inilah tempat yang orang asli membagi. Donasi. Donation. Right. They ask us to bangun kampus seribu misioner di sana. Waktu itu misioner tidak ada uang membuat gudung-gudungnya. Right. No money. Waktu itu mereka dapat 5000 oh no not 5000. 50000 dollar. Ah no no no. 50 dollar. 50 dollar per month. Nadira and then, when they break up the temple, they break up the temple. And then, Nanti waktu mereka up the temple, they break up And then they build this campus in the same area. See this one? Okay, right. And then, whenever they build first building, this one, okay, there was no money. Tidak ada uang. Karena itu mereka coba beli the second hand things. And also paku juga yang sudah pakai. Mereka mau beli di kota Wamena, mereka kirim. Mereka pergi ke sana cari semua materi-materinya yang sudah pakai. And then whenever they native, whenever they build this building, all mission is surprised because it should be spent more than one or two months, but within almost 20 days it was finished to build this building. Because native or asli di mereka tidak tahu bagaimana bikin kudung supri sama itu. Tapi mereka selesaikan semua ini building satu building di sana. And then missionary tanya kepada mereka, how can you build this building? And then jamnya mereka, mereka bilang, okay, because you already hired one of the contractor, okay, contractor for this building. We follow whatever he said. Right, that's why we follow this kind of instruction. That's why it can finish within 20 days. But missionary, how can hire on other people, supervisor? It's impossible. And missionary asked them, so could you explain what kind of figure of their uh, characteristic? Let us know. And then Orang asli mereka bilang, we cannot tidak bisa ingat buka mereka, buka dia, tapi kita ingat dia akan pakai baju putih. Dia selalu sit on the atap roof, and then he guide us how to build all this building. And after finish this building, that person who wear the white dress was not there, disappeared. Since that moment, missionaries and also Orang Asli Disana, they believe angel is the one who 
guide and build this building. That's why 1,000 mission movement already began and start this great challenge of this Pakistan, Indonesia, around the whole Indonesia through this miracle. Not only that, after they built one building, they gathered all the people in the village because they should have the inauguration, right? Inauguration meeting. So most of missionaries, they always eat sweet potato, ubi. Hmm. Always they eat ubi. That's why they think about how we can provide good food for them. And then they gather the money and buy rice, nasi, and they break up, begin nasi bungus. Untuk semua orang asli di sana. Kira-kiranya hampir 350 orang. They prepare 350 nasi bungus. Oh, waktu mulai acara ini inaugurasi, hampir seribu orang terkumpul di sana. Missionary kaget sekali, because the other village, kampung dia lain, mereka pernah dengar mujizat ini, dan mereka mau lihat kudung ini. That's why they gather in this place. Masalahnya, makanannya kurang cukup. And the missionary, they kneel down and pray, God, what shall I do? Let me know, we did our best. And after they pray, and then they distribute this nasty bungus. When all people gather and try to get nasty bungus, semua orang mereka dapat nasty bungus. Tidak ada kurangkan. Inilah mujizat terjadi tempat di sana. Remember. Jesus said, if you believe me, as I did, as I serve, you will do like me. This is what I want to explain the meaning of the faith. I expect all of you have the same kind of faith. Iman Tribusar, Sama dengan Yes Christus. Tua mau cari orang itu. Tua mau pakai orang itu. I hope all of you become this kind of faithful God's son and children. Okay. But even though we have the lot of faith, but because of this kind of inferiority, inferiority complex, that make us very depressed. I don't know, some of them, all of you, maybe some of them have this kind of complex inferiority. We call that a thorn in the life. Okay, let's see. All right. Uh, if you study about history, you can find many people who have this kind of complex, inferiority complex like Adolf Hitler. Mungkin suma tau dia. Hitler, he was a commander, right? But he was very poor when he was a child. His father also, Aya Yang Mabu. Dan ibu dia nya, sangat rima, and also full of the inferior task, Yang Pulsar, Bagia. Well, karena itu Adolf Hitler, waktu dia terjadi pulsar, terlalu tertangkap dengan kompleks ini. Karena masalah itu kompleks, he make, he begin, uh, world war second. Lado people die, lado people die. Especially, he had a jealousy about Jewish. Because in his class, there's one friend who always very smart, 
genius, intelligent. His friend was Jewish. That's why when he grow up, he had the full of the jealousy. Okay, let's see another picture. This is my picture. Can you find which passage? How about this picture? When I watch elementary school. Very ugly face, very small. This is my face, my childhood. When I was young, 13 years old, my father expired. And also, when I was born from my mother's womb, after seven days, still a hari, still a tuju hari, mama saya muninga. Still a tuju hari, bukan tuju tahun. Karena itu, hati saya adalah always had the inferiority complex. Karena itu, saya tidak tahu. Potensi saya. Saya pikir, I am the most ugly person. Very ugly. I am a stupid. Kepala batu. Tidak terlalu pintar. Tidak ada kekuatan hati saya. Selalu. selalu. Tapi, waktu saya bertemu Yesus Kristus, hidup saya Terganti. Waktu saya terima nama Yesus Kristus, vision saya terbuka kepada seluruh dunia. Nah, ini rumah biasa, ini mujizat saya. Mujizat hidup saya, kepada hidup saya. I believe if you meet Jesus Christ, you will have the same experience. You will not no longer stay in the youth this kind of inferior complex. Because once you catch by this kind of complex inferior task, semua potensi kamu akan bury. Bury, apa bahasa Indonesia saya lupa ini. Eh? Cangkul, ah, cangkul, cita, cangkul. Anyway, eh? <laughs> bury under the ground. Okay? So every morning you should open the Bible, and also meditate, meditate, and pray a lot. And then you, whenever you meet Jesus Christ, all kind of your complex in your life will be gone away. Okay, right. Okay, this is my picture when I served in Indonesia, Wamena. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's open your Bible, Isaiah chapter forty-three, verse one. This is a wonderful promise for you. It's a great message for you. Okay, Bahasa Indonesia. Siapa bisa bacakan? Bahasa Indonesia. Yesaya 43 ayat 1. Tetapi sekarang beginilah firman Tuhan yang menciptakan engkau, hai Yakub, yang membentuk engkau, hai Israel. Janganlah takut. Sebab aku telah menebus engkau, aku telah memanggil engkau dengan namamu. Engkau ini kepunyaanku. Right, he said, jangan takut, because you are mine. Remember, you are not yours, you are belong to God. That's why if you remember this promise of the word, tidak perlu takut. Walaupun adalah coronavirus, kita perlu takut. Remember, you are in God's hand. God will hold you, bring you. God will strengthen you. Okay, that's why he mentioned how we can be a full IP. You know, Bible said, Jesus said, our God mentioned it, you are true VIP. VIP meaning it's very important person. 
all right? It was so we realized I'm a free IP. Of course, you should be proud about it. You should have some very, uh, have strong, the passionate. Let's see one by one, okay. All of the world, most of the people, mankind have essential question. Britannia, Hidupan Breka, Sampai Matika, Adalah Tiga Britannia. Kalau tidak cari jawab itu, uh, our mind cannot be major. Okay, first question. Watch that. Where are you from? Kamu dari apa? Dari apa? Where are you from? That's Some of them, they mention, oh, I'm from Wamena, from Manado, from Jakarta. Oh, some of them mention, I'm from the, my mother. Yeah, that's right. We all from the mother. But my mother, mama saya, dari mana? Huh? Grandmom, dari mana? Waktu kita pikir tentang jat, jat, uh, pertanyaan itu, banyak orang pikir, semua manusia adalah dari monkey, mungit. Ha, mungit. Eh? Kalau mereka be, be, uh, believe, mereka adalah mungit. Remember, we are not from the mungit. Okay, another one. If we know about where we from, next question, Pertanyaan. Like, where are you going? Kemana sekarang? Oh, saya pergi ke uh, Tempasar atau Pakistan. Some of them they mentioned, oh, I, I'm going to achieve my goal. But semua adalah satu destinasi. Apa itu kan? Kita akan pergi ke mati. Semua akan mati. Tidak ada manusia yang tidak akan matikan. We are going to die. Going to die. Sudah makan malam? Bukan? Bagaimana? Sudah makan pagi? Ya, sudah. Kenapa makan itu? Mereka bilang. Karena saya mau hidup, bukan. Kalau makan selalu hari, selalu tahun, ini adalah tempat yang dekat ke mati. Betul? Yes. Kalau 20 tahun makan terlalu, terlalu, terlalu lebih dekat ke mati. mati. Yes. So if we think about that, we are very hopeless, useless, right? Okay, another. Who am I? Who are you? Banyak orang mereka mau promosi tentang mereka. Okay? Karena itu mereka, mereka mau dapat bagus job. Posisi tinggi, right? Mau be, mau jadi director, mau jadi president, mau jadi CEO, CEO, bos. Kalau hilang posisi semua, apa itu? Mereka mau suicide, suicide, suicide by themselves. Karena sudah hilang semua posisi. Yeah, very pity when we see the all around people in the world. Okay, let's see how Bible describes Japan itu. Pertama, Japan, where are you from? Okay, when you see open your Bible, Isaiah 45 verse 18 said, right, can you read this word in Baza, Indonesia? Uh, 
Oke, bisa bantu Pak Cenyi. Yesaya 45 ayat 18. Sebab beginilah firman Tuhan yang menciptakan langit, dialah Allah yang membentuk bumi dan menjadikannya dan yang menegakkannya. Dan ia menciptakannya bukan supaya kosong, tapi ia membentuknya untuk didiami. Akulah Tuhan dan tidak ada yang lain. Oke, okay. CSS anak-anak kecil bisa mengerti? Oh, pintar sekali. Pintar sekali. Oke, okay. luar biasa. Oke, okay. right. This Bible said, I'm the Lord. I'm the only God because I'm the one who created you. No other can say this kind of word. Sama dengan itu. Mama bilang, saya adalah mama, kamu. I'm a mother. I'm the one who deliver you. You are my son, my daughter, because I deliver you. That's why we obey our mother. Right? Same like this. God created us. God made us. He is our father. He is our God. Our origin. Tidak dari mongin. Semua kita dari Tuhan. Huh? Okay, let's see this verse. Luke chapter 3, verse 38 said here. Okay, can you read someone also help me to read this one? Okay, Lucas pasal 3 ayat 38. 38. Hey, what's up? Baca. Lukas pasal 3 ayat 38 Anak Enos, anak Seth, anak Adam, anak Allah. Oke. Okay. Saya mau tanya dulu, siapakah yang baca ini? Herlina? Betul? Nama siapa nyanyi yang baca? Akita. Elis, Elis. Elis. Oke, okay, Elis. Terima kasih banyak, Elis. Tuhan memberkati. Dia Sama -sama. bilang, atasnya, atasnya, atasnya. And then, di atas, lebih atas, siapa nama ini? God. Tuhan. Karena itu, badan kita adalah DNA dari Tuhan. Kita DNA-nya dari bawah Tuhan. That means all of you made by God's DNA. Tahu DNA, CSS student? DNA, right. Kalau ada responsi dari Alkitab dengan DNA kita, kalau campur itu, Tuhan bikin banyak mujizat. That's why when we listen the word of God, word of God, our heart, it hati, and adalah semangat terbagi, terkuat. Karena itu ni dua kita perlu, sangat perlu baca ini. Remember. Each one of you made by God's DNA. That's why you cannot fight. Don't fight. Don't insult. Don't ignore. You should respect each other. Because your brother, your sister, your father, your mother have DNA of God. If you are not love your friend, if you are not forgive your friend, that means you are against your God. Hey, remember, you are from the God. Okay, next. Where are you going? Kita harus mati semua. Inilah destinasi kita. Bukan. Okay. 
Isaiah. Isaiah 46, verse 9 to 10. Hey, bisa bantu lagi? Baca ini. Isaiah 46, 9 to 10. Okay. Yes, saya 46 ayat 9 sampai 10. Ingatlah hal-hal yang dahulu dari sejak purbakala, bahwasanya akulah Allah dan tidak ada yang lain, akulah Allah dan tidak ada yang seperti aku, yang memberitahukan dari mulanya hal yang kemudian, dan dari zaman purbakala apa yang belum terlaksana, yang berkata keputusanku akan sampai dan segala kehendakku akan kulaksanakan. Right. He has said from the beginning. He already mentioned, declare for the, the end. And right. Our God knows our future. We don't know next month this coronavirus will be finished or not. Tapi Tuhan sudah tahu tentang satu bulan depan. Dia tahu kehidupan kita. Dia tahu seluruh history, future in the world. Only he know. That's why he can be our God. All right? Some of them, they can live 60 years. Some of them know how to live 70 years. But our God, lead 6,000 of this whole world. Enam lip, enam? Satu, dua, tiga, lima, enam. Satu, dua, tiga, lima. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. Enam tak, enam lip tahun. Enam lip tahun. From the beginning, when he created this world, he lead 6,000 by his prophecy. Prophecy. Right. If he knows everything, even future, how much more he knows about our life, our future, our worry, our sin, our problem. Semua masalah dia tahu. Apa artinya dia tahu semua masalahnya? Artinya dia sudah adalah Solusi untuk kita. Right. That's why whenever we believe our God lead our life for the future, he knew everything in our future, at that time, kita tidak perlu takut lagi. Jangan takutlah. Instead of takut, instead of the worry, we need to pray more. Pray. Because We believe, we trust our God, right? Okay, next. Who am I? Who am I? Right. We should know about our identity, our value, our worthy, right? Some of them, they don't know how to explain their value. Huh? Nilai, nilai, nilai. Can you read Isaiah 43, verse 10 to 11? Someone, can you read? Bisa bantu baca ini. Yesaya 43, ayat 10 dan 11. Kamu inilah saksi-saksiku. Demikianlah firman Tuhan. Dan hambaku yang telah kupilih, supaya kamu tahu dan percaya kepadaku, dan mengerti, bahwa aku tetap dia sebelum aku tidak ada Allah dibentuk. Dan sesudah aku tidak akan ada lagi. Aku, akulah Tuhan dan tidak ada juru selamat selain daripadaku. Right. Here mention, I'm the one who can save you. Save you. Save you. Right. How Jesus save us? 
Dia mati di atas salib. Dia membagi hidup kita untuk saya. Untuk kita. Betul? Betul. Inilah bayar. 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 Oke? Okay? So, if we want to know how much my father loved me, your mother loved me, we should realize how much more my parents sacrifice. Right? Whenever we realize how much my father, mother sacrifice for me, we can realize our value. Contoh, kalau ada kidnap, satu orang, satu anaknya dari CSS, one of anak kecil, saya uh, kidnap. And then still like kidnap, uh, kidnap, I contact your parents. Hey, this is your son. If you are not pay some amount of money, I will kill you. Kill your son. Kalau saya hubungi dengan uh, papamu atau mamamu, mungkin mamamu akan bilang like this. Oh, whatever you want, I will pay. Whatever you need, I will give. Please don't touch my children. Why? You are so kindness? You are so genius? No. Because you are the son of your father. No reason. No reason. Because we are the son of mother. Same like this. Because God created our life by his DNA. Whatever we make sin, doesn't matter. Whatever we disobey to God, doesn't matter. Whatever we didn't follow all kind of his direction, doesn't matter. Our God, he wants to save us. He wants to redeem us because he loves so much us. Right? That's why our value, we can realize by the love of our God. See this one. Adanya. I don't know if putul atau tak tak putul. Existence. Plus, tujuan. Kalau ini campur itu, ini bisa jadi nilai. Betul? Contoh, this one. Adanya. Betul? Kalau hilang tujuan, ini akan jadi apa? Garbage. Harus buang tidak perlu pakai ini. Kita katakan nilai. Kalau kaca mata. If broken this ice glasses. Akan hilang tujuan. Tidak bisa pakai. We will throw away in the garbage trash can. Like this. Whole round world. Good house. Your book. Mobile, kamera, adalah formulasi dengan itu. Ini adalah formulasi. Formula, formula, formula. Right. Naik kaca mata. Sama dengan itu, bagaimana untuk apa yang hidup? Sama dengan itu. Kalau our existence sudah dapat, sudah tahu tentang tujuan kehidupan kita, Waktu itu kita akan bisa cari kebahagiaan. Kebahagiaan. If you want to have happiness, you should find your goal. Tujuan kamu. Kalau sampai sekarang tidak tidak tahu tentang tujuan kamu, kamu tidak bisa dapat kebahagiaan. Kalau baca ini, oke? Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 said Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 said can you baca ini bisa baca ini Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 
Hmm. Untuk segala sesuatu ada masanya. Untuk apapun di bawah langit ada waktunya. Oh, adalah waktu dan juga tujuan. Right? Kalau ada waktu, apa ini? Uh, ayah, susah pakai bahasa Indonesia. Oke, okay, I will speak English. Oke, okay. if anyone born in the world and then someday will die. Kalau ada waktu anak kecil nanti akan jadi orang jadi orang old. Ya, yeah, this kind of thing. In the world, there are many seasons. Kalau ada flower buah the uh, Will soon, and then someday also it will be decay, right? And after that, Ecclesiastes chapter three verse eleven said, "Can you read once again?" Eleven, verse eleven. Ia membuat segala sesuatu indah pada waktunya, bahkan ia memberikan kekekalan dalam hati mereka. Tetapi manusia tidak dapat menyelami pekerjaan yang dilakukan Allah. Dari awal sampai akhir. Why? Apa yang inilah? What is our main goal? Apa yang tujuan kita? Selalu hidupan kita. Eternal life. Hidup yang kekal. Kalau tidak tahu, tidak dapat hidup yang kekal, semua hidupan kita useless. Of course, kalau satu tahun, satu tahun depan mati, semua uang tidak bisa pakai. Right? That's why God create all the world for our life. God create all things beautiful for your happiness. Let's go. Okay, let us see this one. Okay, see? Okay, this is formula of creation. Okay. If you see Genesis chapter one, he said, "Okay, first day, God create light. Light. Second day, God divide water. Okay, at divide. Okay, divide. Then hari ketiga dia bagi dengan land and also laut." And also he plant some many kind of flower and also all kind of plants. Okay. And then after that, in the tempat, okay, space. First day light, space of the this a sky. Four. Hari keempat, okay, sun, moon, sky. This space he put one by one, sun and moon and star. Okay, after divide this water in the heaven and divide one, and then God create fishes and birds in the sky. He also put one by one, and then number six, six day, God create beast, cattle, and creeping things, so they can stay in the earth. This earth, right? You see, very systematically God create, well organized, right? This order one by one, and then after the finally God create, after that God create everything. Always He said, it was good. It was very good. After create all thing. And then finally, God made what? Manusia. Eh, manusia. Right. After made manusia, God mentioned it. Indeed, it was very good. Sangat, sangat bagus. Waktu dia bikin setiap hari, dia bilang bagus. Hanya just bagus. But setelah membuat manusia, Tuhan bilang sangat sangat bagus. Waktu bunda tajik setelah kawin, okay, 
saya uh, uh, bagi makanan di okay at the breakfast time breakfast in the morning okay saya dengan istri saya jadi waktu kita makan pagi satu hari istri saya ada lainnya dia bilang walk walk I was so mess about that. And then I help her to be the in the back. I okay? And then next day it was happen again. Whenever we have the breakfast, my wife walk walk Suddenly I catch the <laughs> Maybe my wife something have some good sign. We I brought my wife to the hospital, and the doctor said, "Congratulations, congratulations! You will become father. You have baby. I'm really surprised. Huh? Is it right? I will be father. My wife pregnant." Since that time, my mind totally changed. Every time, kalau ada uang, saya selalu beli semua apa dol, kecil, juga baju yang kecil untuk anak, juga to dol, so some like uh, playing some any kind of sticker, also pampers. Before my baby come out. I prepare all things. Every time when I buy one thing for my daughter, my baby, always I said, "Bagus, sna, bagus." After ten months, my baby came out. He was in the world. I brought my baby in her room, in small room that I prepare all things. At that time, my uh, my heart. Was bust. I was so good, so happy, sangat happy, sangat senang sekali. Before my baby born in the earth, I prepare everything. But still, at delapan bulan, my first daughter, anak pertama, meninggal. Dia mati karena adalah accident, car accident. Setelah anak saya mati, saya tidak terlalu mau masuk rumah saya. I don't want to go to my house because all thing mess up, make me very sad. I was cry a lot. Remember, same like this comment. Without you, in God's sight, everything useless. God created all this world only for you. Without you, all this light and sun and moon, bird and beast, also even also this all kind of plant will be useless. That's it. We should have eternal life only by the Jesus Christ. You can get this eternal life that we lost. That's why we need to accept, we need to follow, we need to believe Jesus Christ, because God wants humilikan, restore everything, your life, your happiness, and also He wants to bring us to the heaven. Dia mau bagi kita ke surga dengan hidup yang kekal. Inilah tujuan Allah. Allah. Okay. Not only that, after that, seventh day, He created the Sabbath. That is, Sabbath is a sign how God connects with us. That is, Sabbath is tanda, tanda. Okay, see here, Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Oh, you know, still 
I watch you about CLC student. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And also, also donate children. I love our children so much. Today, our message, especially, I'm focusing on our babies, our children. Okay? All right. okay. Let's read Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Yes, Anybody yeah, have to read? Bisa baca? Demikianlah diselesaikan langit, bumi, dan segala isinya. Ketika Allah pada hari ketujuh telah menyelesaikan pekerjaannya yang dibuatnya itu, berhentilah ia pada hari ketujuh dari segala pekerjaan yang telah dibuatnya itu. Lalu Allah memberkati hari ketujuh itu dan menguruskannya. Karena pada hari itu ia berhenti dari segala pekerjaan penciptaan yang telah dibuatnya itu. Hmm. Amen. Ah, amen. All right. He finished everything. And then after that, he take rest. My daughter, she realized her birthday when she was around seven or eight years old. Waktu ayah sana kecil, dia tidak bisa ingat hari yang dia apa? Uh, birthday. Hmm. Hanya dia tahu hari itu papanya, papa, papa saya, mama saya akan bawa some kind of gift. That's who. But I'm the one who remember my daughter birthday. My daughter birthday February 6. I cannot forget it. I cannot change my daughter birthday. Because whenever my daughter born this world Easy day, easy day can connect my relationship with my daughter as a father. I cannot forget. Same like this, after God created all the world, he take rest on seventh day. Because seventh day is the worst day, worst day of this world. That's why he set up day and take a rest with us to make good relationship. See, here mentioned, right? Eskel chapter 20, verse 12 said, he mentioned, Sabbath adalah tanda cinta. Right? When we have the birthday, right? Your parents remember your birthday and prepare some gift and cake, right? Prepare everything. And then in the night, your father, canceled all kind of promise, all kind of any kind of activity, only for celebrating for your birthday. And then come to house and then make candlelight and then start to sing with mother. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my dear son. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Right? Because that is birthday. Hari itu, inilah adalah tanda cinta untuk anak semua. Right? Sabah, inilah tanda cinta dari Tuhan. Karena itu, hukum Allah bilang, Ingatlah, buat banyak orang sudah lupa, betul? Hari ini, semua dia lupa, mereka lupa. Tapi anggota Adventist tidak bisa lupa hari ini, karena ini adalah tanda cinta dari Tuhan. Until die, until die, we cannot forget this Sabbath, because as we remember this Sabbath, it is one of the sign why we should believe our God as a creator, no other things. Remember, whenever you keep the Sabbath, God sacrificed his only son, only saved for you, because he's our savior. Don't forget, whenever you remember Sabbath, this is a symbol how God will lead your life for all the life. Remember, Sabbath is one of symbol 
how our God loves us and gives us all kinds of creation in the world. I want to show the one of you video. Okay. All right. Okay. See? Okay. Actually. All right. Okay. It's my daughter. When she was born, I was tech with it. Right. Pastor, video kelihatan, Pastor. We can remember this picture, this video. I'm ready to die for my daughter. It is your father and mother commitment to our old children. Hello, Pastor. We cannot see the video. Can you see the video? Okay. I will show you once again. Yeah. Okay, now. Can you see? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I'm the one who cut this baby babe. And I also took video for my baby how to turn. My wife operate to deliver this baby. All night, my wife suffering. What we do is this higher. Kan ini nama Yeju. Mungkin berapa misteri sudah pernah lihat Yeju? Anak pertama. After operation, my wife continually find my daughter. How was her health? Good condition. Now, getting fed. Come up, Scully. Yes. Right. Okay. So I want to conclude. Okay. Yes. So can you see this PowerPoint? Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Right. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15 to 16. Can you read this verse? Plaza Indonesia. 
how God said to us this wonderful message. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15 to 16. Yesaya 49, ayat 15 dan 16. Dapatkah seorang perempuan melupakan bayinya, sehingga ia tidak menyayangi anaknya dari kandungannya? Sekalipun dia melupakannya, aku tidak akan melupakan engkau. Ayat 16. Lihat, aku telah melukiskan engkau di telapak tanganku. Tembok-tembokmu tetap di ruang mataku. Amen. Right. Really wonderful message. Even your father and mother can be forget your name. But in our God's mind, he will never forget about your name. He write your name his palm out. Right. Remember, until Jesus comes, he will never forget you. That's why we can say, you are really VIP in God's sight. Okay, don't worry about your future. Don't just overwhelming by this infinity of complex. Remember, you are the belong to the God's side. You have a strong DNA and future potential. God will bless your life. Okay? Thank you for this time to share this word of God. May God bless all of you. Amen. Okay, Subagio. Pastor Subagio, can you read closing? Ya. Puji Tuhan, kita bersyukur dan berterima kasih atas firman yang sudah disampaikan oleh Pastor Isombe. Kiranya firman yang sudah kita dengarkan pada malam hari ini bisa menjadi berkat bagi kita semuanya. Lagu tutup untuk mengakhiri acara pada malam hari ini akan Perasikan oleh host.
tutup sekaligus doa berkat akan dipimpin oleh Pastor Jisombe. Kepada Pastor dipersilakan. Oke, okay, let's pray. Oke. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for this night. We gather through the tomb. Father, this is one of the wonderful blessings that we gather with our young people and church members in the Bali. Bless their heart their enthusiasm and passion to dedicate their life for God's work. As they sacrifice their life, give you heavenly wisdom and knowledge so they can prepare their self, how they can receive the latter reign of the Holy Spirit. We know that you're coming almost near. Let them prepare their heart and that let them bear fruit of the Holy Spirit through their life so we can reflect our image of Jesus Christ in our every area. Father, bless especially for our children. You know, our children, they need your special take care and also guidance. Your holy angel always along with them and protect, protect them from their, all their harm and danger. Thank you this for one wonderful night. We share the message from you. Until we meet again, your Holy Spirit, protect all our life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. All right. So, Terima you. kasih kepada Pastor Ji Songdeng atas firman yang disampaikan dan pertanyaannya. Tidak ada yang pasti. Ibadah kita pada malam hari ini sudah selesai uh, untuk Pengumuman selanjutnya akan disampaikan oleh pendeta sebagai. Right. Okay. Baik. Terima kasih untuk Pastor Cisongbai yang sudah mengambil bagian di jemaat tua.
Terima kasih Saudara Michael yang sudah memimpin acara dan Saudara Dr. Victor yang sudah uh, membawa doa buka. Tentunya kami sangat berterima kasih kepada Tuhan karena telah mengirimkan hambanya Bapak Pendeta Kisungbai untuk uh, mengambil bagian memberkati kita semua, menyemangati kita orang muda. Dan juga terima kasih para senior misionari yang telah tergabung bersama-sama di channel Zoom Meeting dan juga di live streaming Facebook. Ya, kita merupakan suatu reuni pada malam hari ini dengan para misionaris. Ya, kehadiran Pendeta Ji ditunggu-tunggu. Ini gambaran bahwa kita merindukan kedatangan Yesus yang kedua kali. Ya, semakin lebih sukacita lagi. Kita akan bertemu lagi besok di jam yang sama di channel yang sama. Ya, pastikan anda akan diberkati sebagaimana anda telah diberkati pada malam hari ini. Oke, okay, para misionaris, para anggota jemaat, terima kasih telah bergabung. Dan jika lo ada yang mau menyampaikan salam kepada Papa Ji, biasa kita sebut Papa Ji, silahkan uh, mengaktifkan mikrofonnya secara uh, apa ya? Jangan bersamaan ketika beri salam supaya kedengaran semuanya dengan jelas. Sekali lagi terima kasih Tuhan memberkati. Oke. Okay.